Welcome to TrackPack Plus, the catalog that gives you access to over 3 million items across 180 Alberta libraries. Your library is part of the larger Track Consortium, which allows you to borrow materials from all Track member libraries. In this video, you'll learn how to log in, view your account, search the catalog, and place holds. While you explore the site, you may notice help bubbles like this one. You can click on them to learn helpful tips and tricks. Your first step is to log in. Click the Login button in the top right corner of the screen. You can log in using the barcode number found on the back of your library card or your username. If you are unsure of your passcode, you can reset it from this link. Once you are logged in, your name will appear at the top right of the screen. Click on your name to see more information about your account, including your checkouts, holds, fines and fees, and when your library card expires. Don't forget to sign out of your account at the end of the session, especially if you are using a public computer. Next, let's try searching for new materials to borrow. You'll find the search bar at the top of the homepage. Click the drop-down menu at the end of the search bar to change the kind of search you'll do. Choosing All does a keyword search of all possible fields, or you can select a more specific search by choosing Author, Title, Series, and Concept, also known as Subject Search. For example, here's a concept search for cookbooks. You can use the left-hand menu to refine your search results in a variety of ways. Click the arrow next to the category you'd like to filter, and then select Apply to see the changes. Let's look at another search. You'll notice that all of the formats of the same title are grouped together neatly. It shows at a glance which items are available and where you can find them. If a format or item is available, you can see that it will be marked in green with a check mark. When an item is not available, it will be marked in red with an X. Even if an item is marked not available or checked out, you can still place a hold on it. You may just need to wait for the item to become available again. To learn more about an item, you can click on its title to see full item information like a description and other recommended items or related resources. These may include suggested read-alikes and authors, related resources like film adaptations or other materials by the same author, related topics or subjects, reviews, awards, author bio, and other contributors. To place a hold on an item, select the format you prefer and press the blue Place Hold button. Then confirm the location where you would like to pick up the item. For digital content, you may see a button that says Get It. Click this button to check the item out to your account and access it immediately through your browser. If the item is available from multiple e-resource platforms, you may also see a button that says Check Availability. This will let you see which platforms have available copies. You can find your current list of holds and a lot more information in the My Bookshelf area, located in the blue bar at the bottom of your screen. From the Checkouts tab, you can see any items you currently have checked out and when they are due. You can also renew your items. The Holds tab shows you all the holds you currently have placed. You can cancel a hold to remove it permanently from your waiting list. You can also freeze holds. Freezing is useful if you don't think you'll be ready for an item by the time it becomes available, or if you're away on holiday. Freezing keeps your position in line 
and you can unfreeze the hold at any time. The Fines and Fees tab shows you detailed information about any money owing on your account, which you can settle by contacting your local public library directly. The Profile tab displays your account details. You can update your contact information and preferences here. You can also return to the home page at any time by clicking on the track icon in the top left corner of the screen. Hopefully now you feel a bit more comfortable navigating Trackpack Plus. If you run into trouble, on the top of every page you'll see a question mark icon. This takes you to a useful help site with articles you can search. If you want to up your skills in Trackpack Plus even more, check out our follow-up video on its advanced features. Thanks for watching.